Iran's foreign minister said the country cannot remain a spectator in Israel's war against Hamas, and the possibility of the expansion of war is increasing every hour. Strong rhetoric from Iran pushing back against warnings from the U.S. to not get involved. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan was interviewed on CBS's Face the Nation on Sunday and was directly asked whether there is a real risk that Iran intervenes. I'm wondering if you have new intelligence that shows that the threat from Iran is growing. We don't have some specific new intelligence that the threat is different today from yesterday. The threat yesterday was real. The threat today is real. There is a risk of an escalation of this conflict, the opening of a second front in the north, and of course of Iran's involvement. That is a risk, and that's a risk that we have been mindful of since the start. While the White House is acknowledging a potential risk, Iran's top leaders have put it in simple terms. On Sunday, the regime's foreign minister said the hands of all parties in the region are on the trigger. Just as Axios reported, the foreign minister delivered a direct message to Israel, telling the country they would have no choice but to intervene if it continues its retaliatory attack in Gaza against Hamas. Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu gave all indication it would continue necessary military operations to exterminate Hamas. Despite the threats coming from Iran's foreign minister, a White House official told NBC, quote, we haven't seen any specific indication that Iran is trying to deepen or widen the conflict. Sullivan said Sunday the U.S. has now sent two aircraft carriers, the USS Gerald R. Ford and the USS Eisenhower, into the eastern Mediterranean as a message of deterrence for anyone looking to escalate the conflict. Whether Iran believes the U.S. would respond militarily could be a determining factor in its choice to stay at bay or join the fight. Thanks for watching. Straight Arrow News is on a mission to bring you unbiased, fact-based reporting, and we are succeeding. Two leaders in media bias monitoring talked to viewers just like you and confirmed we're delivering the news right down the middle. So if you prefer a source that gives it to you straight, Catch all the unbiased content at san.com.